Folks, uh, I'm gonna get serious here for just a second. You may not know this, but I have roots in this town. I really do. Uh, I lived in Chicago once back in the summer of 1988. That's right, I was doing, it's all true. Okay, one guy's still cheering that year. I was doing a stage show. <laughs> He's gonna go, go home and listen to Don't Worry, Be Happy. Uh, <laughs> I was doing a stage show at the Victory Gardens Theater called Happy Happy Good Show. I was just a young kid. I had big dreams starting out. Here's a quick clip. This is the only known footage we have of uh, me doing God knows what with the very talented Bob Odenkirk. It was after that that I left comedy. <laughs> Never to return, all right. Well, that summer, I lived uh, in an apartment half a block from Wrigley Field, uh, and my, my roommate... Yeah, you vote, you vote on your own time. Anyway, uh, my roommate, my roommate was actor Jeff Garland, who you all know from Curb Your Enthusiasm. Very funny man, very talented man. Well, of course, it's now 18 years later, and I thought it might be fun if Jeff and I went back to Wrigleyville and dropped in on the old apartment. We brought along a camera crew. Here's what happened. Can we come up and look around? <laughs> I suppose so. That's the great thing about Chicago. In New York, if you just say, you don't know who we are, we want to come in, they just fire a shotgun through the window at your face. And here, let's go, this will be good. Hey, how are you? Connor O'Brien. Good to see you. Hi, Jeff Garland. Pleasure, man. This is really weird. It looks the same, but nicer. Yeah. Your name is Eric. Eric. Did You're they tell you when you went to rent the apartment that huge stars had lived here? <laughs> no, not at all. Jeff Garland, uh, I lived here. Uh, Sandy Duncan. Sandy Duncan lived Sandy here Duncan. for a while. Ben yeah. Vereen. Ben Vereen was Charles here. Charles Nelson Riley. Charles Nelson Riley uh, helped build the place. Yeah. <laughs> the TV was right here, and there's the, the, the cable outlet where we got free cable. If anyone hit a home run, You'd see the ball roll right down the street here. I had this mirror put in because I used to like to... <laughs> I, I, wore, I wore a jacket and a shirt, but I would take off my pants and my underwear, and I would stand and just... <laughs> and you loved your butt. You were like... I still do. I... Eric, can we ask you a question? What is this? A Jägermeister machine? Yeah. This is insane! Who are you? That is just... You want to just smell that? Oh, dear God, you actually drink that? Are you yeah. out of your mind? By the way, Jägermeister, <laughs> a fine product. <laughs> a bucket right here. Straps on. You're just... Oh! Oh! And then right back... <laughs> up on top. Oh, yeah. This, uh, this view is pretty uh, incredible. Yeah. Doesn't it look like this is where the, the FBI shows up here later? And they're like, yeah, he rested the rifle here. <laughs> and, uh, we, you yeah. know, we found a cartridge here and a cartridge here. I don't like to brag, but uh, Jeff and I had a bit of a reputation uh, in Chicago as just, just... Guys who didn't get laid. How, <laughs> guys who didn't get laid. how, how are you? Hiya, fellas. <laughs> Good to see you. All right. Did see how exciting that was for them to see us? Those guys are right now getting on the phone and saying, two gay guys just came on to us. <laughs> on a balcony. You live here? We used Where? to live here. I'm used Conan, to... this is Jeff. Hey, there's our old landlord. There's our old landlord right there. Oh, yeah. You want to come up for some Jägermeister? Uh, I was on my way to work. I would love to, man. Come on, just one quick glass. <laughs> is this the only building you own in the neighborhood, or do you own a few buildings? No, I got one a little south of here on Roscoe. That's where uh, Desi and Lucy first lived. That's right. In the other place. Yeah. 
And, he, and the original I, Three Stooges all live there. I, 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 they lived I in had three had bunk beds. Yeah, I had three bunk beds. famous people live there, you know, as well as here. You, know, you had I, famous people living in your other apartment? In, in the other building. In the other I, building? Well, the Cubs physician's <laughs> daughter and... Uh, the Cubs physician's <laughs> daughter? <laughs> really? The Cubs physician's daughter? How did you work that out? I did they hire extra security? What other big stars have lived here? You, you, you used to know. You used to oh, raise. you know what they had here in this room? They had the table read for the Poseidon Adventure. Yeah, the movie The Poseidon Adventure. Oh, really? They did. Gene Hackman. They all sat around with scripts, and they Gene Hackman and Shelley Winters. They were all, and they had to when they got to the part where the boat flips upside down. They flipped the table over for the table read. They were in here. Yeah. Ernie Banks used to, after he had, you know. Oh, I remember Ernie yeah, Banks. Yeah, after he, he would Mr. bat, and he refused to sit in the dugout with everyone else. He thought he was too good for that. He, chair oh, set up. Come on. he used to sit the right in this kitchen. Right here. Yeah. Oh. He'd run out when they took the field. Yeah. Oh, no, seriously. And the announcer would say, Ernie Banks is running over to that apartment. <laughs> Where was it was called that apartment. Yeah. yeah. The horse Seabiscuit died in this room. <laughs> sea Biscuit, well that's because that's interesting. They used to have a bridge that went from that apartment to this apartment that was built just for Sea Biscuit. It was built in 1928. Sea Biscuit wasn't even born another 15 years. This place is rich with Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee and found her first cake in the Sarah Lee baked her cake in that oven. It's true. true. Penicillin discovered in that bathroom. It was mold that they found that you insisted could be used for medical purposes. It was your right. idea. Yeah, you were yeah, the one that said if you grow that mold, it might inhibit bacterial growth, and everyone else said, what does that guy know? Nixon resigned in that living room. <laughs> you know the footage of Nixon saying, I'm stepping down? Oh, it, you know, have you ever Nixon. noticed that it's a really tight shot, and you think it's the Oval Office, but that's you making an assumption. If they widened out a little bit, you'd see that he resigned in that front room right there. Therefore, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. And then he stood up, and he went to a Cubs game. Just I had some good people, you know. Oh, yeah. From the sound of it, we just named 900 of them. Everybody knows, uh, you know, you're about Curb Your Enthusiasm, but this is very exciting. People love that show. Thank you. This is exciting. You're, uh, you, you, you made your directorial debut. It's yeah. just about to start with a movie. What, what's the movie? The movie is called I Want Someone to Eat Cheese With, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Larry David. Uh, that same old title rehashed again. <laughs> Larry David actually uh, hates the title. You can't end in a preposition. What are you ending in a preposition <laughs> for? It makes no sense. That's him, yeah, yeah that's, that's him. him. So uh, it just had its world premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival in New York City a couple very weeks good, ago. Very good, very uh, good. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Uh, all the shows sold out, everything that's sold out. That's great. And uh, the movie was filmed here in Chicago. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was actually, uh, it's the first movie that I ever filmed at Millennium Park. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So, very nice. Hopefully, Hopefully it'll get a distributor and be out later this year and very that'll nice. be a good thing. Very and, nice. Yeah. Well, you know what? Very nice of you to help me out. Nice to see the old place, too. Nice to see the old Thank place. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jeff Garland, everybody. And now, ladies and gentlemen, special treat. Stay right here, Jeff. You gotta see this. The Sears Tower, dressed in Sears clothing, will body surf over the crowd as we go to commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> 